Hey everybody, it's Michael here. Um, this is something that I know I didn't give a lot of warning about, but uh, this is something that I found an opportunity for and thought I'd go ahead and uh, jump on it and uh, then give you guys a quick review. Uh, what you see right here is a uh, Prusa Research Prusa Nozzle uh, Mark II uh, 0 0.4 millimeter 12 volt all metal hot end. And uh, I saw that these were back in stock at CME CNC, so I went ahead and jumped on it. And uh, here's the unboxing. So it uh, comes in this really cool little box, I think. It's got the Prusa Research um, logo right on it. Open it up here. And what we got is the uh, heat sink and the actual nozzle for the, um, uh, for the Prusa hot end. And that is just looking just gorgeous, I think. Uh, here's the heater block. And this is, this is pretty cool. This, uh, this comes with the uh, thermistor and the heater cartridge uh, already installed. And you've already got your, uh, your end right here for your thermistor and your leads for your uh, cartridge heater. So this is actually just ready to go. This just uh, bolts in here, tighten up this nut just a little bit, and you are off to the races. Uh, it also comes with this cool little uh, 12 millimeter fan. Uh, some uh, other unboxing videos that I've seen actually had a printed mount for this. Uh, this one doesn't come with it. And I looked at uh, uh, the CM CME CNC website, and it looks like actually the new ones just, just don't come with that. But that's okay, because it's uh, pretty easy to find a printable fan somewhere. And then this uh, also, Really cool, uh, professional looking. Uh, this is actually on a kind of a translucent paper. That's pretty cool. These are the instructions for the Prusa nozzle Mark II. Uh, pretty straightforward. We've got uh, English, German, and Spanish. And there's not a whole lot to them. It pretty much just says uh, it includes everything. Uh, it, it is also really cool. It does point out that this is using um, uh, Marlin uh, thermistor number one. And then it gives you some good print settings here because being that this is a stainless steel part, it is going to have uh, some slightly different thermal characteristics than the brass parts do. And so you may find that your prints are happening at uh, different, uh, different temperatures than you're used to with the brass. That was the first box that I got from uh, CME CNC. And the other one, I was real happy to see this too. And very similarly impressed, this right here is... Um, let me back the shot up a little bit so you can see that whole thing. This is a uh, aluminum frame. This one is powder coated with uh, sparkly black. My daughter picked the color out. The CME CNC has two colors available right now. They've got a blue sparkly and a black sparkly. And my daughter picked the black. And we're going to print the parts out for this in orange. Um, this uh, I didn't really realize this as I was uh, uh, as I was doing my shopping and my research. Uh, but if you want to make the Einstein variant uh, and you're buying a, an aluminum frame, pretty much all of them now are going to be able to accommodate the 10 millimeter uh, the, or the M10 threaded rods in the bottom uh, slots right here. And this is something that I wasn't quite sure about. Uh, I asked about and um, the CME CNC didn't really know either. Uh, but it turns out that uh, I, I ran an M10 bolt in there and it fits just fine. So I imagine the thread rods are going to work just great too. So uh, this is going to be my next build. Um, the, uh, the Maker Farm. Uh, I3 has been just great. Uh, I have noticed, however, that in the um, uh, with the sudden change of temperature that, uh, that if you've been following my videos I've been talking about uh, lately, it looks like that. I have experienced just a little bit of warping, and so I kind of thought I wanted to move into a build uh, that, that was going to be a little more resistant to uh, changes in weather and humidity, uh, and so the aluminum, I think, is not going to move. So uh, anyway, this is just a brief uh, update about what's going on with me and my workshop, and uh, as both of these projects progress, I will certainly let you know. My plan is to put the uh, uh, the Prusa uh, Mark II nozzle on the uh, Maker Farm uh, printer just to get that up and running. I'll get you guys a review of that real soon. Uh, on the Alu Hot End V4, I ran into a little bit of a snag. Completely my fault. I can't. I'm not going to fault the Jolly Grim Reaper or uh, 3D Industries at all. Um, I managed to to break part of it while I was getting it installed. So um, I went ahead and ordered another one. So that'll be here shortly. So anyway, thanks for watching. This is a quick update, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.